everybody. Welcome back for another video. Uh, today I have for you my monthly Aldi haul. So if you saw my last video, then you saw me doing a bunch of like planning and like meal planning, grocery list planning, kind of just checking out what I had in my pantry, um, you know, kind of taking stock of what I still needed for the month. And I had mentioned that I was going to be going to Aldi to do a large stock up trip and I made a list in that video and I shared the list there with you guys. If you've not seen that video, it's the last one that I released. You might wanna go watch that one first. However, I got everything on the list and a few things that were not on the list as always in true Britney fashion. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you through and share with you everything that I got. I'm actually really proud of myself. Again, in the other video, I mentioned that I wanted to spend about $150 on this haul and I did. I spent $148 was my total. However, um, you can see there's two Squishmallows right there and those were paid for with the girls' Christmas money. They each wanted one, Kylie and Finley, and so they used their money for that. So um, yeah, I actually really spent about $26 less, so about 125 on this Aldi haul for this month. So without further ado, oh, also I wanna mention, I did also say in the last video, sit, sit, Georgia, good girl. Georgia's trying to stand up. Uh, I did mention in the other video that I added some to my grocery budget because I'm going to be donating um, for my daughter's school non-perishable food drive. So I will share with you the stuff that I picked up for that and I'll kind of share with you, you know, like I'll point out stuff that's for the food drive. So without further ado, now let's go ahead and jump into this huge Aldi haul. Okay, so I have it all laid out on the table here. We're gonna start in this corner here. So I got three of these little journey um, baby food, I guess, pouches for Georgia. Um, just in case she like refuses her lunch or whatever, I have something else to offer because she will always eat this. So this one is apple, banana, and raspberry yogurt. This one is apple, strawberry, and banana with yogurt. And then this one is just apple, banana, blueberry. And I remember Finley, who, who's been around that long and remembers that Finley was obsessed with these things. Literally, I would buy five or six of them a week. She would eat one every single day. If you've been around that long, you know. But I got three of those just to have on hand. I had forgotten to get chocolate chips in the um, Sam's Club order, so I got them at Aldi. I got three bags of them for, I believe they were like $1.50. I will have prices pop up as well. Oh, your cup? Thank you. <laughs> um, I will have um, prices popping up as well, but I believe these were $1.50 a piece, and I got three bags for all of the baking and the yogurt bowls and all of the things throughout the month of February. I got one thing of vanilla extract. This is so expensive right now. This has really gone up in price. Um, this one, I believe it is two ounces was $6. And that's a lot. I feel like for Aldi, that's about the same price that it is at um, like Food Line and everything. So maybe I need to look into Sam's Club with this for this because I've been using a lot of it lately. I did go ahead and get some of their Irish butter to try. A couple of you mentioned that it is really good and it is um, about the same price as the Sam's Club one. This was like $3 for this eight ounce thing. So I got about a pound of butter for like six bucks and that is very similar. So if I got one more of these, it would be like nine and it actually is probably about $1.50 cheaper than Sam's Club. So I got two of them just to try out. Hopefully we like those. Raspberry lemonade. I got these at Aldi because the Food Lion brand ones changed their like recipe or makeup or whatever. And they taste odd now, the ones from Food Lion. So I went ahead and grabbed two of these just so I had them on hand. I've been buying pink lemonade from Food Lion because the raspberry lemonade ones just do not taste good. And then for, you know, baking or cooking dinners throughout the um, month. I got an Italian dressing mix. This is for one of the recipes that I shared in the other video. Um, I think it's a crock pot recipe and then ranch. I know we're doing crock pot chicken, ranch potatoes, and then I'm sure we will do like Rhodes rolls or something throughout the month. So I went ahead and got two. This was a splurge. This is the barista cold foam in sweet vanilla. I had seen somebody on YouTube shorts mentioned this and how good it is. And I decided to give it a go for like my afternoon coffee or whatever. We're getting to the season where I'm going to start drinking iced coffee again in the afternoon. So I thought that I would try that out. I wonder when this expires because I'm not sure. Oh, not until July. So I got plenty of time um, to use that up. 
Coming back up front here, I have two things of wide egg noodles. These are both for the, um, the soup drive or the non-perishable drive at my daughter's school. We don't really like egg noodles here in this house, so I knew that there'd be no problem donating these because we, my family, I like them, but my family doesn't. So those are both going to her school. I will say that I didn't buy, I didn't buy like a ton, a ton of stuff at once for this food drive. It goes on for two weeks and um, Kylie's gonna have to carry all this stuff into school. So I got what I thought that she could carry in one or two days um, and I'll add stuff, like I'll probably add some stuff to my food line orders, like some canned goods here and there or whatever. And I'll just donate a little bit throughout the whole cycle. When stuff like this happens, I, I mentioned it's going to my local food drive, like the out Christian Outreach Center that's in our town. So I love that. And I'm all about donating to stuff like that and causes where you know where it's going and who it's helping. So I will be donating more than just this. You guys will probably see that over the next two weeks, like built into my grocery hauls. But anyway, just wanted to- Hi. <laughs> okay. She's already uh, getting used to me filming videos. She's saying hi when I turn the camera on. Finley's over there just watching TV. They're being good for now. Okay, so this is the first time that I've ever seen traditional or pasta sauce, or I'm sorry, pizza sauce at Aldi. I think this is a new product because I have looked so many times when going and have never found any. So at least in my store, this is new. Um, so I did pick up two of them because they were like a dollar and some change. And the ones that I get at Food Lion are like $2.99. So these are way more cost effective and we usually have homemade pizza twice in a month. So I figured that would be perfect for this. Now these, all these canned goods here are for the food drive. So I got, I believe three things of tuna. Um, those I think were 85 cents a piece. And then there are two of each kind of vegetables. So there are two things of sliced carrots, two black beans, two chili beans. <laughs> You're talking to the vacuum. Uh, two, I already said carrots, two whole potatoes, two sweet peas, and two green beans, I believe. Yeah two green beans. So those will all go. I mean, I don't even know that she could carry all of that at once. I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll just have to see what she can handle. I got some granola for me this time because I didn't get that at Sam's Club. I got my favorite oats and dark chocolate one. And then I saw this one. I guess it's a Valentine's Day um, thing, but this is dark chocolate raspberry truffle decadent granola made with real chocolate and raspberries. Um, the ingredients aren't terrible. There aren't like a bajillion of them. It's got brown rice in it. Quite interesting. Freeze dried raspberries. I mean, I can pronounce all of the ingredients except for natural flavors. Who knows what that is? But uh, yeah, pretty excited to try this. I probably will have it on a yogurt bowl today for lunch. And then I did get some chicken from Sam's Club, some like um, already grilled chicken just for throwing on salads for a quick easy meal throughout the month. So I went ahead and picked up some croutons. Now these Squishmallows, um, that one I think is a sheep, but that one's Bigfoot. I mean, but it looks like Bigfoot. So maybe it's supposed to be, I don't know. But they're so soft and I knew that Finley and Kylie would want them. Finley was with me. And she picked the rainbow one, and then she picked the little sheep guy, the bright green, neon green, whatever, for Kylie. These were $12.99 each, and again, I took that out of their Christmas money. Coming back up front here, both of these things of spaghetti are for the food drive. And then I got one thing of rice for the food drive and one thing of rice for us. We had no rice at all empty container. So I needed to replenish our rice for this month. I usually only have to buy rice like every other, maybe every third month. We only eat a couple of meals a month that have rice, but the beef tips is one of them that we eat over rice. And I knew that we were going to be having that this month. So one for the food drive, one for us. Thank you. Thank you. You have it. Georgia have it. Georgia have it. Um, coming back around this way, I bought two of our favorite yellow rice just to have on hand for when we have tacos or enchiladas or whatever. We love that yellow rice. Baking soda for both cooking and cleaning. I use baking soda and vinegar in my um, garbage disposal. So we had about half of one left. So I went ahead and got another one. Two cans of cream of chicken soup for uh, various recipes throughout the month. I also needed cream of celery or cream of onion, one of them but I, Aldi did not have those. So I'll have to pick those up at Food Lion like the week that we're making that meal. And then the onion soup mix I use in the beef tips. So I went ahead and grabbed a box of that. Now, cooking stock is way cheaper at Aldi, even this Swanson one. They didn't have a um, chef's cupboard 
beef one, but they did have the chicken. I believe this was like a dollar twenty-five a thing. Again, it's like two ninety-nine at Food Line. So I got two of those for the month, and then two beef. This Swanson beef um, again was only like a dollar fifty at Aldi, so it was still cheaper than getting it at um, Food Lion or Walmart or anywhere else. So got that. We needed some hot sauce. I used the rest of it on our chicken wings the other day. And then we needed some olive oil spray for the month as well. Almost done. Coming this way, two bags of freeze-dried strawberries. I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. They were out of stock at Sam's. I'll probably might have to still order some at Sam's because these ones are $3 for this tiny little bag. And I just didn't want to pay. I'd have to get like six bags of them. And that's just a lot. So I got two to tide us over. We still have some left. And I think I'm gonna have to order some online from Sam's Club. I needed all of the sugars this month. We've been baking homemade cookies, homemade brownies, uh, cinnamon rolls, which I'm gonna do a video on. And I need the, this for icing, you know, all of the things that I've been needing sugar for. And our yeast rolls call for a third a cup of sugar. So I needed that for sure. So I got um, powdered sugar, light brown sugar, and regular sugar. These two things were extra little snacky snacks for really the girls because they're the ones that are here most of the, the day, Georgia and Finley. Um, these mini bear grams, Georgia ate one of these in the store while we were shopping and she liked it. And then I also grabbed the birthday cake mini animal cookies. I think these are probably delicious and I might eat them like with some Greek yogurt or something like dipped in the yogurt. I don't know. These sound so good. I wonder how many 130 calories per pouch, which isn't bad. So got those as little treats. I had mentioned that I always run out of seltzer and I don't like paying food line prices for it. So I grabbed two 12 packs while I was there. I got one blackberry, which I've been a fan of blackberry ever since trying the polar ones. So I'm hoping that I like this one. I haven't tried it before. And then also one grapefruit, which is my all time favorite seltzer flavor in any brand is grapefruit. So hopefully that helps to tide me over throughout the rest of February. And then Finley wanted juice boxes and she picked this fruit punch one, but she she tried one in the car and said that she did not like them. So I'm hoping Kylie drinks them um, or we might have to like give them away to friends or something. But uh, I think I paid like $1.50 for that 10 pack. So I know it's not a lot of money wasted, but we'll find somebody to drink them. And then the final thing is a big thing of vinegar. This is about the same price there as it is at Food Lion. It's like $3. Um, but again, I use it in my steam mop, which I know you're not supposed to do. Don't yell at me. But I put a little bit in my steam mop before I use with water. Um, I use it in my dish disposal. I use it in my little shower cleaner pump that I use. I use it in everything. So I got a big one of that to last us through the month. And that is everything that I got from Aldi for the month. And now I have this huge mess and Georgia was playing in the cabinet over there. So I got all kinds of things here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. So now you have seen the Sam's Club haul, one weekly grocery haul, meal planning, this video. And then the next video that you see will be my fully stocked tour after I get all of this put away and done. I may film that today five times. You might see me in these same clothes, but that'll be the next video that you guys see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you soon. Let me know in the comments how you're doing on your February budget so far. Let's do it together and I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and the